Hello and welcome to episode three of the City Podcast, which is a acronym for Can I Trust You? I am your host, Roman, and to my left is... I am a giggling Mark. We switched Mark. it up a little bit. Giggling Mark, all right. Uh, I am Mike. Sorry about my absence for last time. All right. He's going to sound a little funny because he does have an allergy thing going on. Yep. It's Eric. I'm John. <laughs> and we got our tech guy, Tony, standing here. All right. Hey, hi, Tony. Don't- hi, Tony. Anyways, we're going to start it off like we usually do every week with a weekly recap. I worked most of the week, but today was a friend of mine's birthday, and we watched some uh, NXT wrestling. That was pretty dope. Saw a little bit of UFC, and then came here so we can record this very podcast. By the way, who won so, again? Wait, wait, Happy is birthday, this friend Roman's of yours a, a fan of the podcast? I am not too sure. I, I hope so. Hey, shout out his name, man. Some kind uh, of birthday. Give him some love. It's, uh, what's his last name? Soto, right? What's his last name? Wow, what a friend. <laughs> I don't know his last name. His first name is Daniel. Uh, what's his? Yeah, Soto Daniel. sounds like Daniel. it rhymes so, with Daniel. Happy birthday. That's uh, 27 years that he's been on this earth. Arf, but arf, it, was, arf. it was pretty good. You know, basically, <clears throat> it was just us and a whole bunch of friends. Basically, my destiny friends that transferred into real life friends. Trader. All kind of went into, did whatever. We had barbecue. It was pretty good. So while you were celebrating my cousin's birthday, mm-hmm. I was at work all day. <laughs> so it's your cousin. It was actually, I think this is like the first time I actually heard about this birthday. <laughs> Family's not invited. Yeah. Everybody obviously. else. It's not family. I got it. <laughs> That's fine. I thought you, but I thought you would have known like his birthday. I, I, thought- I did, but... <laughs> I didn't know there was a party. <laughs> yeah, but did you at least wish him a happy birthday? Um, yeah. That's a no. I'm going to text him right now. Happy birthday, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Winky face. Maybe um, if you had said that earlier, you'd have had some barbecue. Probably. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it was gone. It was completely gone. You can't even fucking lie to me. No, not even. Damn. I don't want to give you false hope. I'm uh, not that kind of guy. Fair enough. Okay. Well, why, why would I say, like, oh, there's a sweet meal waiting for you at home, and there's nothing? There's a sweet-ass fat ribs <laughs> waiting for you. Yeah, no. There's nothing. And I'm going to go home and be like, yeah, I can't wait to eat some sweet-ass fat ribs. <laughs> and then, and then sounds, like gonna... I, sounds like I was going to go eat out of fat girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go eat some ribs. I'm going to go eat some ribs. I'll be back, guys. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I, I'm assuming that's all you did this week was work. Uh, yeah, same same as last week and the week before that. Um, <laughs> do you ever fucking change? Uh, every once in a while, I'll go do something. I just saw a movie. So that's uh, that's a thing. I that's probably that you did something like two weeks ago, though. So it's technically not changing. Do you changing. see a movie? The only well, time I see a movie is with Eric. That's it. Yeah, we'll, we'll have we'll have a little movie review at the end of this uh, little weekly segment. But what about you? Mike? Uh, my week went by pretty horribly. Um, kind of lost a friend, not life, but just friend, and um, a bunch of family matters that went pretty pretty bad. All right, and, and, and work. Uh, and work. All right, and and Mike said that he will share something at the very end of the podcast. You know, so. We'll get into that a little more. Uh, I mm-hmm. had a little bit of good news today, oh, uh, which that? was the promotion I got at work. Hey, papa. Hey, I'm very, very happy for that. Yeah. Oh, hey, you're you're clap. Bigger, what? Clap, oh, man. Clap. Everybody clap. It, it seems like the fact that he's gotten a promotion means that he's doing something good at work. Or he's been he, there long enough. No. I know. I really haven't. Like, they could have picked, you know, these guys that have been there for 20 plus years and... I've only been there for two, so. Rub it in their faces. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't going to listen to Y'all this. They're <laughs> old, so. Y'all are fucking too old. Y'all going to die there. What's a podcast? There. Yeah, yeah they, sounds they, like a bunch of queers. Me, me and Mark work together, <laughs> and a lot of those guys are just too fucking old. And if they don't, they just care about their families. They don't really do shit. Oh, by the way. I if, honestly if, don't talk to anybody. If nobody knew, uh, me and Roman work together. I got them the job at where, uh, where we work. Yeah, yeah. We're both did. truck drivers. In, in a time of need, of great need. <laughs> Uh, he, he hooked me up with a job, and I'm in his debt. Oh, no. For sure. So no. if you guys want to see them, there are late-night showings down at Hard Bodies. Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn it. That's it? They're reverse the job, right? strippers. I they start off naked, they start and you pay them to put their clothes, the clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would watch that show. I didn't want to know that, but thanks a lot, Mark. Yeah. That's, uh... Now. Thanks. Now I just doubled your audience from three to 
<laughs> Whatever <laughs> double, du- du- double means six. He, he wanted time, to say time, six, but he's like, nah, that's too many. I had, to, I had to double check. Yeah, oh, okay. six means 12, that's six too much. <laughs> you're already doing the math in your head. If I say six, it's going to double. It's going to be a lot. Whatever, man, you're a hooker. <laughs> well, well, you're a hooker well, and I didn't know about this? Oh well, it's a, it's a second job. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I, I need to feed my drug addiction. As long as it pays the bills. <laughs> Which is that? Keeps hey, you fed. <laughs> uh, either way. Eric, what about your week? Nah, nothing. Worked. Oh, wait, no. Caught a bunch of Jigglypuffs. <laughs> I saw an airplane real close. Jigglypuffs. What do you mean? Jigglypuffs. The park we go to is by the uh, airport. And as we were walking the trail, saw some deer. And fucking planes were coming by really close. Isn't there a That's deer That's right. Pokemon? I totally fucking <laughs> forgot deer about that. I was like, is a deer, like, deer? He has, like, eyes that are supposed to be, so, like, come on, boy. You or they remember. look like eyes. Yeah, and I, don't I don't know what's going on with Eric. He really is, like... So he he really is salty. I don't about what I don't know. So we're trying to figure Ho- it out. Yeah, talk we're trying to it, figure it out. But man. I have no idea. Nobody knows. All right. Well, Not then, even Eric. Oh, right, then fuck off, <laughs> John. What about you? Go ahead, John. Um, I took my two little sisters to finish their back to school shopping. Huh? Uh, got them each their backpack. Sweet. Olive got a little one stitch backpack. It was super awesome. <laughs> Olive? Yeah. Olive, oh, so your yeah, the sixteen okay. year old. Yeah, it was uh, her favorite movie as a kid. Oh, it was. It came out when she was like three. Yeah. You know what? I've never seen that movie. No? I've only seen the beginning. That's it. That's awesome. That's a really good movie. I like Emperor's New Groove better. (laughs) Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, that one found ten times better. Huh? I don't know why you like David Spade. He sucks. (laughs) He's funny from time to time. But I I don't got a lot of heart, and I love Lilo and Stitch. I like dogs. I like dags. Dags. (laughs) Plus, talking about Lilo and Stitch. Makes me want to see Lilo and Lilo Mitch. Lilo. <laughs> Perfect. Lilo. What, was, was, was that the fucking... Was that the prequel I never saw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had a black friend. His name was Lich. Lich. Guess what happened to him? He got, he got Lich. That's right. <laughs> All right. Racial quota filled. Yes. So we're going to surpass that, I'm oh, sure. Wait, so, I, was, I, was, I was to say, I'm, I'm looking forward to the new... Uh, uh, the Rock movie, the one where he voices over, where he's uh, oh yeah, with Maui, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Maori, I thought, Ma- Mallory. Mau- Maui, Mau- Maui, Maui. I thought it was Maori. No, there's no R. It's just M- yeah, I know, but like New Zealand doesn't have like a. No, the the Maori tribe is M A O R I, Maori. Did you not see it? What? But are are they New Zealand or are they like Samoan? Samoan, Hawaiian. Oh okay. Then, he's the he's uh, the Jimmy like, God of uh, Hawaii okay. or something like that. Oh okay, cool. I, I I only saw like one trailer for it, but it did look good. It looked like something I would like to see. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that right. uh, Hawaiians look like swollen Mexicans? Yeah, we all saw Gabriel Garcia. God damn it, dab. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> shut up, that, that Mike. Was the Anyways, uh, John, was that the end of your week or? No, 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 this is the beginning of my week. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, so today at work, uh, I was uh, watching. Netflix mm-hmm. on the free Wi-Fi at work, uh-huh. <laughs> and um, one fine. of the guys from the meat market came and sat next to me, and I didn't notice him because I was so engrossed with the show that I was watching, mm-hmm. and he probably sat there for about five or six minutes before he's like, what the fuck is that? And then I realized he was there, and I had to like just knock my phone two tables over to mm-hmm. make it stop because I was watching Liv and Maddie. Uh, Chella's uh, favorite TV show that I've become addicted to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what is like? Is it a Disney it's Channel a, show? I guess or it's something? Disney. I don't know. She watches it's, it on Netflix. So I don't mm-hmm. know what. It's Disney. It's Disney. It's Disney. It's Disney. Disney. The one about the twins. It's not. Yeah, good. the one about the twins. <laughs> okay. It's not good. It's not even a little bit good. <laughs> but do you just get engrossed in it. But yeah, cause she she watches it. But um, while I'm getting ready for work, before I take her to the babysitters. And um, she watches that one, and she watches We Bear Bears or some shit like that. That's a good one. The We Bear Bears is fucking awesome. Is that like the panda? Yeah. Gris- okay, okay. It's fucking amazing. So it's like... the bear, panda. It's like Adventure Time Season 1 amazing. Okay, uh, cool. Let's not go that far. Okay. Well, it, do you have anything else to add to week? Um, so, no, just uh, that. He caught me watching something I didn't want anybody to know <laughs> I watched. Uh, All right, well, now he, it's on a podcast that other people are going to know <laughs> no, about. He didn't okay. know what it was. I had to explain it to him. 
Why would you explain it if you didn't want him to know because what it is? Because he was already sitting there watching it over my shoulder, and it was so fucking stupid and pathetic. You could have lied. He was like, what is that? You could have lied or something. Like, I, I couldn't it's, say it's like some James Bond shit or something. You know? She's like, it's, 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 it's like, they're going to get naked, getting naked. It's Hold porn. It's, the, it's they're some, waiting for the pizza delivery guy to get here. It, it's, it's porn, but goddamn, does it have a good story. Let me tell you. Yeah. It's the best ones. Yeah, so I get back to the market. Mm. I was on lunch first, so 10 minutes later, he gets back. Mm. And he's all like, hey, John, you still watching Live and Maddie? And I was like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dude, and, and I guess that's the end of John's week, or at least yeah. what he wanted to say. No, today. Tony, did you want to elaborate on your week? No. no Anyways, no. well, going on to a new little topic. It seems that my friends every week watch a new movie. And it looks like three of them watch the same movie. Debbie does we all... Dallas. <laughs> oh, God. I saw that movie. It's not as good. It's like it's seventies porn. She so. makes the Dallas well, no though, right? So there's I like don't. a lot of bush. I, I, I didn't get through the thing. What are you talking about? What do you, she, she, she <laughs> what do you okay. expect of me? And then she finds out she's gotta fuck her way back out of Dallas. Oh. It's like uh, escape from LA. Well more fucking <laughs> you, you escape New York and then you gotta escape LA. Either way. A- except Escape from New York was kinda good. <laughs> Debbie with Dallas at her time was kinda good I, too. I'm I'm sure in the seventies it was I mean it was hot shit. It was yeah. like the best, but you look at new. Um, I mean, come on, new porn's just so much better. Uh, I feel like new porn does a lot to like try and shock you, and you're like, eh, all right. Cool. <laughs> well, you're you're watching different porn. That's what I'm, I'm watching a lot of stuff. Exactly, but we're not talking about porn. We're actually talking about a family movie. <laughs> We're talking which about leads into porn. which leads to porn. <laughs> hard transition. Uh, emphasis on the hard meaning dick. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the what was the movie? Kubo. Uh, two Kubo. And, yeah, and the two strings. And the two strings. Which right, well, is retarded because he always had three strings on well, the fucking thing. Well, the one string is him. Yeah. And the and two is No, no, no. I got it. But no. still, it was always three. No. All right. It's All right. Okay. Strings. Okay. Hold, hold on. It's already getting hold on. on. <laughs> Before any of that, is there going to be any spoilers? Yes. Um, I was going to try not to spoil it. Eric's just an asshole, so he just wants to spoil something. What's that? That is how we can't explain what the two strings are Jeez, man. without letting you know part of the movie. As we a don't spoiler. have to explain anything. It was yeah. just my opinion that the you title can just, was stupid. It looked like Mark wanted to fucking explain what the two strings were. <laughs> I just wanted to explain what the two strings were. Too. I got it. I got it. I got it at the movie. I just thought it was retarded. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll start uh, with you, Mark, since you're the resident animation expert the childhood family exactly friendly you you uh, embody childhood family fun yes oh how i do (laughs) i love to talk about family stuff okay so Um, what is your review on kubo kubo was just x you know he was the movie okay the the animation was good the story kind of lacked a bit Mm mm-hmm but, I mean, got great visuals. Okay, so. let, let, let's go with the five-star system. How many stars would you give it? Uh, three and a half. Three and, okay, so a little bit above average. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Th- uh, then you would would you recommend other people to go see it? It's a rent. It's a, okay, so you'd red box it. Yeah, yeah I'd say it's a red box. Okay, okay. Well, that, that's your opinion. We'll go on to Eric. What did you think of the movie? It, I, I liked it. Yes, visually it was great. Story... Mm kind of predictable the way it was uh playing out yeah you gotta remember though it's a kids movie it's not supposed to fucking blow your mind no with but twist ending. paranorman was made like by the same people and that movie was fucking good i think the same people did a uh, Coraline and yeah I seem to dig that and all those were still good movies uh, mm-hmm. i didn't really mm-hmm. like Coraline kind of. myself i like it i was just like eh, i almost wanted to read the book but i didn't yeah um but uh i like the music in it you like uh, the music in it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm a big old gay from the Shima, <laughs> the Shima Synth, uh, which is that uh, Japanese style guitar. That I didn't know if Matthew McConaughey was in there. I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, like, he I, was the Beatle. Yeah, or yeah I well. thought Magic Mike was. <laughs> yeah. No, he's just he's not doing any uh, voice acting work until he becomes a uh, Gambit. After that, he's uh, he's really not doing other movies. This, that, that is why what, he won't okay. see a Channing Tatum movie until after Gambit. So. What, what did you, what did you think of Kubo? I mean, you, you said the, the story was predictable. The the visuals were really good. The visuals were fucking great. Okay, but okay, so and the music, I like the music, especially like, when he was the playing, music is uh, a plus. Yeah, when oh. he uh, uses it to manipulate the paper. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah, about. that's one of the things that that's like. That's what caught me the first time. Yeah, yeah. So I was just like, oh, that's. Not Honestly, that reminded me of an anime that I really liked. 
that power, so I was like, all right, that's cool. I, I want to see her. Not that. Uh, uh, Naruto? No, uh, Helsing, the priest. See it. The, the scriptures, they, uh, he can control the scriptures. That's right. I really like that. Right. I thought that was really cool. But, okay, uh, using the five-star system that we created, that that is ours <laughs> that patented. We, that we fucking, that's copyrighted. Uh, five star. From Cash the Booty, I give it a three and a half. Five stars, asshole. I give it like, yeah, about a three and a half. Three four, and a half. Four, so four, I give it a four. You'll get, you'll, a little bit more wait, what did Mark get? Give it. Okay. Did you give it a three and a half? Okay. Yeah. So, three and a half and a four for Eric. And I would recommend to go see it, not rent it. Okay. So, you'd say see it to, to yeah, spend some money on it. Yeah, All right, cool. Yeah. And John, what did you think about? You Cuba? really have to explain about it. There we go. The movie was fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. You should stop listening to us and go watch it. Uh, I'd give it a four out of five. Uh, the only, the only reason I leave off the fifth star is because, like Mark said, it's a little predictable. Mm -hmm. It's a children's movie, but it is a little predictable. You mm -hmm. figure out pretty quickly, um, you know, what's coming before it comes. Uh. But, uh, but uh, the animation was fantastic. The uh, the voice actors were great. They worked together pretty well. Mm. Um, and I did like the storyline. The music was excellent. I give it four out of five stars. All right, so four out of five for John. We're going to... I'm not going to give you a fucking average of that shit. But, you, you know, do the math. But but two four stars, one three and a half. Now keep in mind that three and a half is an embittered man. So <laughs> just <laughs> take... no soul. Uh, again, t take all these with a grain of salt. But it, it seems... It, out at least a two... Two and a half stars. I don't think that's the way it works. Yeah, so that's, that's, I think I, you were touched I, as I, a little boy, and that's I, why I, you hate it's, everything. It's somewhere now. around three uh, it point. Wasn't, it wasn't the fact that it was touched, like it was like the three and three touching. quarter stars, maybe somewhere around Actually, there. Actually, I think it's like a two and a half. If you're doing that, if you're doing if an average, average, it's seven. <laughs> All right, well, shut up. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. Okay. No, uh, yeah, go yeah, yeah. go ahead and take your kids to go see Kubo if you have any kids, or if you just like animation movies, go ahead and see it. Kids, if you're listening, go go watch Kubo. Okay, no. kids, don't listen to this. Seriously. Yeah, if you're if be a responsible parent. If if you're a parent that has children and you're listening to this, like in the car, you just have your phone plugged in. Stop. You can listen to it on your own time. Come I, on. I think we're 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 thinking too much on ourselves. That's yeah. true. I I think we're thinking too big of our podcast. Anyways, uh, our uh, topics, and I don't know who came up with it. I think it was Tony that uh, actually brought this up. Name, like, you know, three bands that you really, really like. I like Madonna. Well, no, you like Madonna. <laughs> McDonna. I don't know. Madonna was there with my thing. Well, then, call it. Go, go on. Come on. Madonna. Oh, Madonna. Oh, Madonna. Madonna. I don't know, man. Music's been lagging lately. Oh, well, the last, some the last two weeks I've been listening to yeah, the yeah. soundtrack to the Suicide Squad. Uh, okay, but, they're, like, not soundtracks. Talking about, like, bands yeah. or artists. But that why you... not? Soundtracks? Music? Bands. So, bands. like, the soundtrack, you could say 21 Pilots. I like the new Green Day song. American Idiot? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's about as current as I can do. Maybe that holiday funny. song was like the last one I heard. <laughs> no, but they released a new song. I don't know the name of it, but it's really good. It reminds me of their, like, before American Idiot, but a little harder on the sound. Dookie. Metallica's well, new song was, was really song. hard, too. I like the new Metallica song. I listened to it. I wasn't a big fan of it. No, e even though it did go back to like a little more thrashy, it still, I think for me, Metallica is Done. those first few albums and that's it. I mean, they're old. They already played everything they had to play, so they kind of just do whatever they want. That, I, don't, I don't like Robert Trujillo, the, the, the bass Basis? player. Yeah, I don't like him. He's alright. I hate the way he fucking crab walk bass. I was going to say, I was going to mention I, I, crab walk. I hate that. <laughs> give me food, give me fries, give me salad on the side. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So basically, your favorite three bands are a, food, a soundtrack. <laughs> well, his his bands don't count because he brought a topic and clearly didn't think about himself. <laughs> Either way, John, we'll, we'll go with you now. Um, three bands. You can't use soundtracks. Um, well, uh, the two bands that Craig Owens has are really fucking amazing to me. I listen to them almost every day. It's Craig the Owens. Chiodos, the Chiodos um, and uh, Drugs Destroy yeah. Build Until God Shows. Yeah. As much as I love, as much as I love Chiodos, um, I think I've slowly come to realize that Bayside might actually be my favorite band. And I don't know if it was always mm -hmm. like that, and I didn't realize it, or it's just a transition over time. But Bayside, mm -hmm. I think, is more my favorite band these days. Cool. Is everyone here all excited about Bayside besides myself? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I am. I'm not. I, I, 
like them. I like the not, new I, album that just came out on Friday. I dig it. So I'm getting the VIP tickets. Oh, I guess yeah, I'm having it. to get the VIP tickets. Yeah, you are. Um, but yeah. Uh, so it's okay. So those are your three of your bands. Um, um, well, I'm calling the Craig Owens. That's just one. one. It's oh, Craig Owens. Yes. Okay, yeah. it's, 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 it's an artist it's thing. It's okay, the yeah. Craig Owens band. All right. Craig uh, Owens and the Temptations. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the uh, the third band, uh, the more mm. again, the more I hear them, the more I really like them. Is uh, set it off. Oh, okay. That's yeah. really new to the to the group that you know we've only been listening to it for what, what? two or three months. Mm-hmm. Except for Mike, who discovered it and listened to it longer. Mm-hmm. I only know it. I did not. Re- I didn't know that, that man. Fucking yeah. credit whore. Anyways, so wait, wait. Uh, they have new music coming out um, next month. I don't know if you know about that. I don't. I sent uh, Roman two songs. Um, you my, you oh, sent well, me. Thanks, eight, you, send, thanks for sending it to me. I did not know that you're. Be, slowly becoming a bigger fan. They, they have a new oh, song. I'm I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of that song, but maybe the album's better. I have no idea. I told him I was still going to get it, and, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. So for you, it's it's Craig Owens, Bayside, and Set It Off. All right, those are cool. Three bands that are okay, yeah. Uh, Eric, you up? Uh, Yeah, recently I have been digging Eye of the Mighty. They got, like, a Bayside sound to them, but uh, Mm. uh, it's, it's it's generally the same, but still, I like it. They're a little more... Froggy, I guess they just have like a little more experimental uh, thing to them, but yeah. they're they're kind of they're sceny, but they're they're cool. I'm fine with it. They're, they're it's good pretty, band. It's I like much too. someone I want to go see in concert. Mm-hmm. Uh, them, and then if I get a chance again, uh, can never go wrong with Circus Survive. Mm. Is there an actual circus? No, it's Circa. Oh, Circa. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> now you lost my interest. <laughs> I'm curious to know what your bands yeah, are. I, I just expect you to tune out like this entire time until I actually talk to you. I, yeah, half, I don't know half of these bands. Yeah, I know a... of a Bayside <laughs> and I heard Circus Survive. I was like, damn. The Circus. <laughs> so you try to survive. Man. All right, so the Circus Survive. Must be intense. I the Mighty. What's the third band? Uh, the third band is, um, huh, I, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, Top of your head. Top of my, Oh, wait. Uh, new album that came out, that's coming out, is from the Devil Wears Prada. Oh, okay. Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. I'm honestly surprised that there's not a single nigger on your list. Huh? Rapper? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. If I would have to gone with the rapper, it would have been uh, Little Dicky. Yeah. No idea who that is. He's the white dude. Oh. I'm surprised you didn't name any country shit. Yeah, I did I like... Have, yeah. I, I, I'm not su- I'm not surprised by it. He likes it, but he doesn't oh, know no. majority of the artists. That's true. So, Garth. Oh, me or? No, oh. Er, uh, Garth. John. With hey, country. I was expecting a Garth Brooks in there. <laughs> no, Garth. Just, uh, no, Garth, he likes uh, like one Garth song. <laughs> you like one song from Garth Brooks, right? I, know, I like a lot of music from Garth Brooks. No. Actually, when it comes to country, I like older oh. country. I don't like the new stuff. You don't like Chris Gaines, though? No, I don't like Chris oh. Gaines. <laughs> yeah, Chris Young? Um, I'm a very big fan of 93.3. Evo which is Brooks. The, the news station that only plays old country. Mm. Um, oh, you told me about that. Yeah. I actually want to. Does it have twangy guitar? Because I might be interested. It has twangy, twangy guitar. guitar. I don't want and to banjo. Yeah. I'm like, I'll be, I'm in all about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, bluegrass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. All right, well, that's cool for Eric. What about Mike? <laughs> Hi. Uh, as y'all know, I got tattoos of them on my arm. Yes. Nobody can see your tattoos um, or your arms. I'm going to say you. it right now. I'm letting Mark <laughs> gaze upon the glory. <laughs> Look at his arms. Uh, Lama God is my favorite band. They will always be. Mm-hmm. Uh, at times, I don't like their music, but <laughs> He's kind of it tends to grow. <laughs> yeah, it tends to grow on me after a while. Yeah, I, 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 I know that feeling. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you they, just listen to an album, even though you're like, I don't, know, don't like this album. Then you listen to it a few more times. You're like, yeah. I, I really dig this yeah. album. You end up liking all the songs. <laughs> I can see uh, what they were thinking. Yeah. I had a chance to actually see them for mm-hmm. $115, which my ex would not let me go, which is fucking bullshit. Like, I could have met my band, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, VIP, VIP. Yeah. But, but then again, at that time, before this new promotion, you weren't banking as yeah, much. Yeah, but she was. Me. That's true, but <laughs> her money. That's, yeah, I don't care. Money. It's, it, it's her, yeah, it's her, her money, money, but he supported her through college. Thank you, thank that you. That's true. It's a lot of weight. Thank you. Years. <laughs> All right. Either way, second band. Second band would be Eric showed me this band, Protest the Hero. Yeah. Oh it's yeah. Very What's it Protest the Hero. Oh okay. 
Uh-huh. Very, uh-huh. very good band. Hero, right? No, I heard Process a Hero. Oh, Pro- like, protest. Maybe you'll like it, oh. you know, they're Canadian. Eh? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> they are we very... like to rock and sometimes roll times, eh? <laughs> very sorry, sorry about this, but we're going to have to turn I Amps up to 11, eh? Oh. <laughs> very mel- melodic, we're, very progressive. We're going to rock yeah. your yeah. socks off. Um, they're, they're, they're a little bit of punk, punk, punk-ish? No, they're like a... They're like a... At times they can be. Like, I... I can't put a... I can't. They're, they're just... Prog- well, they are to me. They're, they're like prog metal, I guess you could say. Okay. Why do we need labels, bro? Oh, God, shut up. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well, Protoss Hero. All right, yes. and the third band? Oh, wait, let me see. Let me say I don't like the way they're doing their, their new shit just because they're not putting any more albums out. They're just putting music out on the internet, and I don't really like that. Anyways, For my Protoss? third... Yes, oh. my third band would be, which I've been going back to them recently, which would be System of a Dome. Oh, which yeah. kind of brought me and John together. Didn't they get back together? No. no. They did no. a show. They just did a show, Yeah, right? just a show. They, they're still but, yeah, up. there's a lot of bands that do that. That they, they do, like, one show, and then they end up doing, like, a bunch of shows or a bunch of festivals. Mm-hmm. Then eventually they become... Then they like, hate each other again. Yeah, just they record stop. one more album. They yeah. do, like, half a tour. They don't care anymore, and then they just quit. <sighs> Man, I, I really, really don't want like them to guitars. get back together and make a it's new album. It's Axl Rose all over again. Uh, mm, they were all damaged in that band. <laughs> Guns N' Roses was a fucking... Have you actually, like, read about the shit that happened with them? Just, uh, I did, and all I know is what VH1 told me. <laughs> behind what the I can music. Remember. They still do that? Uh, yeah, they, they restarted it back, a little, like, I don't know, like two or three years ago. And then it died out again. Yeah. Along with the pop-up videos, which I miss. Yeah, those are pretty fun. I miss pop-up yeah. videos. I was never, like, I... I... I I wasn't too interested in a lot of videos, especially like they did a lot of pop videos. And I didn't like a lot of pop songs like around that time when pop video was going on. So I, like, I didn't, I I didn't pay attention to it a lot. I liked it because I'm a sheep and I just follow whatever's out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's the three bands for Mike. So, now the the this is um, this is where Mark actually turns his brain on and yeah, starts thinking. Right, everybody else too. All right, so, <laughs> so, think, so first band. I think uh, let's see, probably okay. the same shit I've been listening to like for the past five years. Mm. That bad, not good. Yeah, there you go. That's one of them. Incubus. What, what is it? No, I wouldn't say Incubus. What was the first one? Bad, bad, not good. Well, They're also kind of, Canadian. What kind of uh, music are they? And that's uh, jazzy, jazzy, electric. Like, like jazz freeform kind of stuff. Yeah, kind of like that. They mostly do a lot of beats. I, I think they were doing something with. Uh, creator. Yeah. Remember mm. we were talking about that too. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, Tyler, yeah. 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 I don't like Tyler yeah. the Creator. You don't have to like Tyler the Creator, but you can like the beats in the back of the music. Yeah, but it's not even his beats. I'd rather listen to those people that made the beats. Yeah. Well. So like now that I know thing. that he made the beats, I'd rather listen to them than, than Tyler the <laughs> Creator. I'd rather cut out the fucking middleman. I don't like. <laughs> I like some of Tyler the Creator stuff, dude. So, you you like a lot of stuff. Like we said, we all like stuff that uh, all of us hate. Like like, like I said, she. <laughs> all right, so she. first band, bad, so, bad, not good. Bad, bad, not good. Um, still listening Primus. to, eh, not not as much. I mean, I was really big in the Primus. Uh, but the other one, the President of the United States of America. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. If I could fucking see them, I would. <laughs> how many ba- uh, how many albums do they actually have? Um. Fucking like six, maybe. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't think there was that many. I remember I was looking shit up and mm-hmm. I saw that they made an album not too long ago. I was like, mm-hmm. when the fuck did they do that? <laughs> did you listen to that one? Yeah, I listened to it. I listened to it all. Fucking. Was was it good? Old. Was was what you wanted out of them? I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you had a. You I had... never, because I assumed like after their album from I don't know, fucking eighty years ago, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, they're gonna do anything. So. Well, what am I going to expect them to do? Mm. The only album I remember is the one that had Lump in there. Yeah. Not I think that's the one that everybody remembers. <laughs> Lump and then maybe Lump, Peaches. peaches. And, and then, uh, you know, the body one. Yeah, uh, dude, I love the body, the body one. Yeah. So then with the cat, the cat one. Kitty. Uh, yeah. That's right. The, 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 that <laughs> metal band? That chick no, metal band? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no, that was super into Kitty. As soon as the hot ones left and it was just the two fat dykes, I was like, fuck, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this <laughs> really means something. Now this is all gross. There is no fucking art in this music. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, so, uh, um, United States, Presidents of the United States of America? Uh, and the last one. Check. Fuck, probably check, just check. say Queens of Stone Age. 
I mean, so I'm probably, yeah, that's probably like a safe choice. Yeah. I've been listening to the same like three damn things it's, for the past five <laughs> years. It's true. Every time we work together, that's all I would play. That's all he had on the thing. Well, I did. Uh, there is like a, a certain thing that as you get older, you just listen to the music that you listened to when you were younger. And I also listen to like really old fifties jazz. So yeah, I mean, th- don't even. I'm that, really always like hey, Roman. Really close oh, hey, Roman. To, to transition to a really old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're. I think yeah. you're. Uh, you're spiritually. You're already there. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to uh, Twenty One Twelve today. Oh, Rush. Yes. Hell yeah. With my dad uh, on the way to Austin. He actually went with me today. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, he got to let out. Wait, you worked today? Yeah, I did. I didn't even know that. Yeah, it just <laughs> that sucks. Doesn't that Led Zeppelin? <laughs> <laughs> I actually have listened to a lot of Led Zeppelin recently. Time to get the let out with Rush. <laughs> It's such a rush that, to get that, that out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't know about that. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so there's some... some again, Roman, what are you, yours? Mine? The same bands that I always say. Uh, a homeless dude beating off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my grandpa cursing out on my grandma. Sticky Joe. <laughs> and uh, somebody... Uh, and Garth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> somebody uh, spitting tobacco into a spittoon. Mm, yeah. <laughs> know, Roman, you do listen to too much Taylor Swift, though. Yeah, I mean, Do come on, that, that T Swift. <laughs> I knew you were trouble when you walked in. I don't know the rest of the words. Wait, Anyways. isn't that somebody else? <laughs> no, no, is it? No, no, no. No. Oh, okay, good. I thought I was gonna make an ass out of myself. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, true. Oh my god, chair. Um, the the three bands that I, I really like and the ones that I've always pretty much listened to, uh, say anything. I always like say anything. They're uh. A emo band, but hell, so uh, most great. most of the fucking bands I listen to are emo, but yeah. I like them. Do they have new music? Yeah, I don't really care. Um, yeah, they came out with the album not too long ago. Anything uh, as good as the ones we listen to, the songs uh, we listen to, or better? I I don't know. Really Do you not know? Uh, the was it was a real boy? Or yeah, was a real boy. Yeah, the first album. Um, I mean, th- this album is a lot softer. And that's weird to say, Gay. because they're like most of their songs are soft. But it's there's a different type of I don't know energy that is within his writing style now, is which it is like cool. Mumford and Sons soft? No, that's too soft. No, the the other one before that, which was Hebrews, that one had like no guitars. It was Sheeping. like it was all like synthesizers, violins, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, say anything. Uh, always check out Is A Real Boy. Um, I really like the self-titled album. It was really good to me as well. Uh, as for the second band, it would probably be Bayside. Because, um, what, they just came out with a new record on Friday? Vacancy? Uh, it's pretty good. It's not... It, it's actually... If you listen to Bayside, it's a little bit different than what the writing style is a little bit different is there a link on youtube to it i'm sure there is uh but if you do have spotify you can download the album there uh or go to if you like cd still i'm cheap support i got the, the band, free spotify then you're not gonna get it um YouTube. but i mean the album's not that much it's 10 bucks at best buy so if you want to support them go ahead uh, that's a deal. That's a bargain. Which you that's, should, John, yeah, because you're such deal. a big fan. That's a steal. That's oh, yeah, a, I'm getting that's the CD because my truck doesn't have an ancillary. Nah, Spotify <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you want to sponsor Spotify, we're, you know, listen up because we do good shit over here. Yeah. We'll tell all seven of the people who listen to us <laughs> about your band. Spotify totally shits all over Pandora. It really, uh, honestly, it, to it me, does. it does. Yeah. Yeah. Our <laughs> friends have friends and their friends have other friends. Yeah, yeah. but doesn't mean that anybody listens to this they could be like oh they put out a podcast that's oh, awesome yeah. and they that's just like that's that's cute. Cute. yeah that's what i assume like i don't think anybody's like when people, commented on anything we put out yeah i think when, i think when people tell me like oh listen i'm like you just fucking like oh but, well you cute. you and me have trust issues where we don't trust <laughs> anything anybody says at all i listen to your podcast man it's good i'm like when you Fucking make fun of me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you had me until you said it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I almost believed you. Tell me I'm shit. <laughs> Spit in my face. Oh, yeah, Step on my jewels. Yeah. <laughs> Step on my cubes and call Anyways, me dirt. My, my third band <laughs> oh. uh, would be uh, Coed and Cambria. Oh, uh, you do. I've, I've always liked Coed and Cambria. We need to do another cover, man. I need to do another cover? We. 
what we we haven't done a we haven't done a first cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do another. Like a fucking. <laughs> you're talking about 2006. He still so, counts it. Yeah. I guess. How, I, we like haven't it. recorded, man. Come on. It's on on the oh, it's sure. on the internet, Sib. It's on the internet. So maybe maybe, yeah. maybe we can actually put one out that's we, recent now. We can redo. We still suck. Bro, we, I know I suck. So I don't know what the we fuck. We need that's to do that's a necessary. smash. I'll record it. Man. Oh my god. Uh, oh god. Oh, we have I'm a better camera now. Smash and mouth. you're not gonna fucking move around as much as you did in that damn video. Nobody was supposed to see that video. <laughs> Either way, but yeah, Coheed and Cambria. Uh, they just had a re-release of the last album. Which has like some demos and some live uh, audio stuff. Pretty cool. But yeah, those are the three bands that I pretty much listen to a lot. I've been listening to a lot of music because of Spotify. But yeah, those are what I've been listening to at least recently. But I think that wraps up our music section of the podcast. And uh, I think we have time for at least one more topic. And this one should be short. Should be. <coughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, I thought of this one. It's uh, what would you, what did you want to be when you were younger? Like, what was the profession, or what did you want to do when you were, you know, grown up in your eyes? Let's start with you, Mark. I wanted to be a professional son. You want? <laughs> <laughs> that ended a long time ago. <laughs> like what? What kind of like son? S O N or S U N? The kind of parents I wanted to be. The son. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to be a big ball of gas. I wanted to be a big ball of gas. I wanted to... Uh, I want to light up somebody's day. Yeah. <laughs> that just gets even darker and darker. <laughs> oh, shit. I couldn't even do that right. <laughs> I couldn't light up anyone's day. Not my family. Not my friends. And this, Definitely not my friends. This, this, this is why I didn't like cool. <laughs> yeah. So That's, why, that's right. Like The favorite character was like the moon god or something. <laughs> The main bad guy was the moon guy. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> what was I going to find out eventually? Well, I mean, it's right there in the beginning. Nah, it says in the beginning. All yeah. right. But he was my favorite. Although I did like that intro. That was like the best intro to a movie ever. Water? As we're talking about people not listening, mm. some person would be like, fuck, I really want to... Oh, I really want to see Kubo, but first I gotta listen to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. In our defense, I told him to turn it off and go watch Kubo, so it's yeah. on them. Well, That's true. You want but, um, what I really wanted to be as... A professional whatever, let's see. Um, a, I wanted to be a vet, but oh, then good. I think I realized I didn't want to be a vet when I didn't want to take care of my old dog. <laughs> 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 I had to get rid of it, and I was like, well, if I don't give a fuck about a dog, it makes me give a fuck about any animals. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to say that was the first thing I ever wanted to be when I grow up. When I grew up. And um, I set the bar real low, and yet I still disappoint myself. All right, that's that's just that's another cheering. That's yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, Mike, I wanted to be a, a botanist. I mean, we are scientists. Miller highlight. I'm kidding. Yeah, this is probably something like a like a firefighter or some shit. Okay. What's a botanist? Yeah, I was about to ask that too. <laughs> is it uh, somebody some, that does flowers? Yeah, they're they're a plant. Like poison ivy. They just study plants and put in skimpy outfits. They grow a lot of weed. Watch the Martian, you'll get. If if you could be a botanist, but you had to wear a fucking like some kind of sexy ass thong. I'd probably just wear a leaf. On your dick. Yeah. Oh. Not on your nipples. <laughs> I mean, we can do both. No, you had to choose. What, what kind, what you only get one, one leaf. You only get you only one leaf. One nipple. Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. It would it would be leaf. like one of those crunchy leaves that you fucking step on. <laughs> So, would you just All right. pull it up? <laughs> so we're gonna go with firefighter or whatever. Hell, he didn't think about this clearly. What about you, Eric? Honestly, never really thought about it. I got told uh, I was gonna be an awesome uh, ditch digger. Garbage, no, a garbage man. Um. Back in middle school, principal looked at everybody there mm-hmm. like, "Oh, you, you're gonna be a, a, a hell of a garbage man. You're gonna be a, a police officer. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be a lawyer." He looks at me and he's like, "Eric, you." Garbage man. Everybody laughed, and I was like, huh. Someone finally believes in That's me. That's pretty cool. And I was like, well, what? You mean I'll have a job? What? And then, and, then, and then I was like, wait, don't they get paid more than those guys, but they get treated shit, like shit, and they're like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad's a garbage man. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, he fed your ass, so. Yeah, so does, I know. Obviously, he succeeded a little does too Does he get low. treated like shit? 
Uh, when, he yeah. drives dad, when he drives by, do people spit on him or he something? He's sexy. No, he exceeds. like, there, there's, like, a, some customers that, because he does, like, commercial stuff. Uh-huh. So, like, people are always bitching and like, restaurants and stuff. Like, hey, you got to pick our tights. Like, dude, I, come on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it right. Unlike other people, I'm not going to leave shit on the floor. I'm actually going to pick it up for you. So just chill. I'll be there. So you have to deal with a lot with that. Uh-huh. So I and and I never understood like why my dad was like so tired. Like at the end of every day, he was just like he was drained. And he goes, "It's not so much the work; it's the driving." And now that I'm a driver, I understand. There's something that happens when you drive all day that you just are mentally destroyed by the end of the day. You gotta focus not crashing or falling asleep. That's or... you. Oh, you, what, you don't, you don't focus on not crashing? No, I focus on not falling asleep. Now, no, nowadays, I just focus on the crash. <laughs> but yeah, no, but yeah. No, like, no, you don't you can focus, focus on one thing on and <laughs> accomplish two things. It's like you're in a trance type of thing and then you, you can it takes e- a lot of mental. You can easily fall into the kind of like, what the fuck just happened and you're already somewhere, which is really, really bad. So when I drive, I tend to change up my routes, you know, varyingly so I don't get into that. That's something my dad taught me but yeah my dad has some stories where he's like yeah there it's there there's some dicey shit especially like downtown with a lot of homeless people they had to deal with and stuff like that he never had a stab home, homeless person he never had to stab him but he did get into a fist fight with one and just left him bloody on the floor speaking but, of homeless person i went those real quick uh mm-hmm. the homeless guy that was holding the sign in austin the sign said trying to get to austin when he was already in austin <laughs> <laughs> clearly it's a mental issue <laughs> All right, but but you never you so Eric you never really thought about it you just kind of no but it was either that or following uh, Dad's footsteps as a construction worker. All right, cool. I was All supposed right. to do that too actually. Follow follow my Dad's footsteps and totally marry Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, and John I said cheap. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about you? Did you, did you have to... when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and pretty much it's something that I would still be very interested in. You're a kid. Um, is uh, being a detective, <laughs> not a cop. Not like, you know, hey, you're speeding, here's you, a ticket. You, you want private eye? Like, like a 1950s not, not, noir, <laughs> private dick. Dude, Bogart was the shit. Yeah. Would you be wearing Humphrey a tuxedo Bogart. ish? <laughs> Anyways, um, just like, it, it fascinates me to this day, just being able, somebody being able to go into a room and seeing, like, the blood splatter or the the evidence of the fight that happened and being able to figure this shit out in mm-hmm. their head, you know, what happened. Yeah, but you know, like, you just don't get to detective. You know, you have to start off as a beat cop and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I probably haven't done that yet. <laughs> you also, know, you have to be, like, at a certain fitness level, and uh, yeah. you don't meet that there. You know they have games like that where you got to figure the shit out, right? I feel like... L.A. He, Noir. There you go. I feel like uh, he thinks it's going to be, like, psych, everything's going to go. Oh. I like, think he oh, just okay, wants to be at that position already. Uh, no, I don't think it's going to be like that. So. That guy trained his, literally his entire life to be able to do that. This is a kid. It's a show. <laughs> yeah, it's not real. Anyways, okay, all right, so look, why don't you look, be a <laughs> comic book reader and comic book shop worker. Let's not talk about what's not real, right? <laughs> yeah, but I accept they're not real. I'm not like no fucking Green Lantern is it's real. Dead. Like it's it, I I understand that they're not real, and I leave it at that. <laughs> I don't even care like realistic movie wise. I'm I'm not that kind of movie watcher. When it comes to, to me and uh, being kind of a younger kid, I really didn't think about that kind of stuff. Um, I think at one time I said I wanted to be a doctor, and then I realized I really don't like people, <laughs> and I don't want to save them. <laughs> From a very young age, I realized that. So That's that, also why you didn't become a pastor. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to be that at all. I was a youth. Minister, if you could call it that for a little bit when I went to church. Yeah. He didn't want to be a priest. He just wanted to touch little boys. That's not true. <laughs> That's awful. Um, they said no. <laughs> everybody says no to me. Fuck. God damn it, little boy. You're not supposed to know. <laughs> Either way. Um, but when I was, like, as I got older, I really fell into music. So I wanted to be a musician, and then I quickly fell out of that. I realized that. I just wasn't confident in my abilities, so I just stopped doing that altogether. Which is bullshit because you're an excellent guitar player, huh? Which is bullshit because you're an excellent guitar player. That, yeah, that's all. That's all opinion, though. That's, that's like subjective. that's that's going back to the music thing. Like, we just like the music that we like. Now, granted, I could just make the music that I want to make, and that's fine. But I never really had any of the recording equipment to do so, so I kind of just fell by the wayside. 
I and say that if Sleeping With Sirens can get a label, anybody can. <laughs> We'll see. I'm gonna say a designer could get a label. Oh fuck, that guy sucks. <laughs> Any fucking Head. rap. Uh, this th- this new rap. Head. I don't get a lot of. It. I know it's pushed. It's not about lyrics and shit. It's about like the sonic, you when, know, kind of driven. When did that happen though? Head. I don't know. When did it stop being it, about it, the lyrics? It was really recent. It was Black like within the last. mispronouncing it, stuff. It was literally within the last like three years. It sh- like that went to hell. Yeah, I mean, you still have like some. Good underground uh, lyricists like uh, Logic. Mm-hmm. Um, you got uh, Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar. He's yeah. not really underground anymore. He's not underground. Uh, I mean, it's not about being underground. It's just whether or not you have something to say. Well, I mean, underground as in they don't get as much credit as they should just because they don't have like the badass beats behind them that makes true. it repetitive for ignorant people or people that. You know what? Most of the music I hear from these new artists. Our stuff I heard snippets from on vines and shit. Yeah, and it's just it's it's shit. And it but, gets but, it gets, it's, it gets stuck in your brain like a good old or fucking. But but, I, but, I, but I've always said that even though something gets stuck in your head doesn't mean it's good. It just means it's catchy. It doesn't make it good at all. It just means it's catchy. It found a way to your head. You can't get it out. That's it. Yeah. But as for me, that's really what I want to do now. Actually, honestly, I I like podcasts a lot so. I want to do more podcasts, to be honest with you. I'm glad we're doing this one. But that's kind of what I've realized within the last few years. I, I'm glad that actually ended on a happy note. I was like, <laughs> the whole time we're talking about what we wanted to be, I was like... <laughs> and we, we, didn't, just, we didn't fulfill any of it. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm actually mine. fulfilling... Yours, yours is yeah. actually on a good note. I'm, I'm fulfilling mine. All right. As you're talking about, like, I want to be a musician. I was like, damn, so well, we're just sitting here we talking kids. about... <laughs> He said when we were kids, he didn't say anything about like adults now. That's that's yeah. true. So you, yeah, just I mean, wanted, you just wanted to build yourself up right now while we all feel like shit. You can talk about anything that's happened right Too now. Too late. I don't want to talk about that. Well, then I fuck. mean, I'm going to say like mechanic. Okay. I, yeah. I'm doing that, sort of. Okay, that means I, you're not doing no, it. You're look, not actively I, I doing went, it. I went to school and mm-hmm. then I got a part, a job at a parts store. Mm-hmm. Where I'm learning more and more about yeah, nah. certain yeah. things. Yeah, you're, 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 you're in a process still. You still want to be a good son, Mark? Really good. No, I really don't care about that. You're a decent son. Eh. What a Barely. decent dick. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's the end of that topic. We're heading towards the end of our podcast, and as we've newly minted with our last episode, our Can I Trust You segment, we're actually going to pass it over to Mike. And Mike, what do you want to say? Get your eyes ready to get moist. Um... I'm going to end it on a good note. I have something funny to say. That well, why don't you save that until the end? I know. I'm going to. I'm just letting okay. you know. Um, I'm going to save it toward the end, which is... It's y- y'all laugh. Okay. So, like I said before, I had a bad week this week. And um, I called John about it because he can relate a lot okay. about it. Yeah. And um, he was one of the first people I called. And thank God he was just going to sleep, but he answered no, the phone anyways. Asleep. Whatever. He woke me up, you bastard. He answered the phone anyway, Now I was real grateful for that. Anyways, uh, my mother lived in Houston, and I did the favor of picking her up. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, trying to get her away from her life, because she has a very bad life over there, abusive uh, relationship and all that kind of stuff. And um, mm-hmm. yesterday uh, night um, basically went bad. Hmm. Sorry. Okay, so well, this is bas- this is basically what happened. Uh, we were supposed to hang out at hookah. I think everybody canceled, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah. I did it. Okay, whatever. Uh, I decided to cancel. I was like, man, it's going to be too late. I, I need some sleep. Uh, yeah. My mom was going to go out with her friends, and I think they heard the drunkenness in her voice, and they canceled on her. So we were just there drinking a beer together, and she was already drunk. I was drinking a beer. Mm. And um, she was being terca and wanted to go out still and she was like come on Michael let's go out dancing and she kept asking and asking and asking and I was like you're really starting to annoy me so I, I basically locked myself in my sister's room because it's the only lock in the apartment that we have and um, mm-hmm. I was already going to go to sleep just kind of try to ignore her because I knew it was probably going to go south pretty quick mm-hmm. so she ends up leaving my apartment with her beer that she has mm-hmm. I call my sister and um I tell her, look, mom went somewhere, I don't know where, but she left, and I just want to tell you just so you don't worry, or worry about her and, you know, try to figure it out. Mm. She ends up, uh, my mother ends up coming back, 
and I'm about to fall asleep and I hear a bang at my sister's door because like I said the door's locked mm -hmm. she ends up breaking the door down mm -hmm. and I got pissed because it's my apartment I'm gonna have to pay for that shit yeah so I end up tackling her ass down to the ground in my living room and we're basically struggling with each other she's throwing punches and she gets a couple on me mm -hmm. And I'm holding her down as tight as I can. And she's just, you know, getting out of it. Mm -hmm. And her purse is next to her. And she ends up grabbing a knife. And she opens it and she swings at me with it. So mm -hmm. she basically tried to stab me. Yeah. And this is something I've, I've seen or witnessed throughout my whole life. Uh, she's never actually tried to do that to me. But it felt like shit when she did. Man. Yeah. So anyways, I slapped it out of her hand. And um, it went behind my TV, and she was literally crawling to try to go get it. And I was holding her ankle, and I was pulling her across the rug. Mm -hmm. And she managed to kick her way out of it. She went behind the TV and got the knife, and she knocked over my TV and everything that was on top or the little entertainment center I have. Mm -hmm. At that point, I was like, fuck this. And I called the cops on her, told them that she was drunk, and she put a knife out on me. Um, she ended up going to jail because they weren't gonna arrest her because they were like you know she technically lives here nothing really happened yeah besides her trying to cut you but it mm. didn't uh but we're gonna run her license mm. or id and see if she has a warrant if she does we're gonna take her and she luckily did. she did she had a traffic violation oh, okay. and a warrant so she spent the night in jail and like i said i called john right after right after that happened because he can relate to it mm -hmm. and um yeah, that's, it, that, that's what happened to me. There, there's other shit that happened to me in this past week that was just horrible, but that was like the peak, I guess. Um, the funny thing I wanted to end off in is... Yeah, you said um, off and it puts us on a good note. I was like, that's not good at all. The, the, the <laughs> funny, the thing, the funny thing I wanted to say was when, uh, when we were waiting for the cop, she was actually being okay. Um, we were talking shit to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, bad, bad shit. Like she was saying, like I hope your kids turn out fucked up, and you know, I was like, I hope you Jeez. fucking drink yourself to death. And we're just telling each other bad stuff. Yeah. And um, he the moment. She stuff. pawned a lot of her like her jewelry and her her movies to buy a little bit of groceries, and mm -hmm. she knows that I'm on a diet and stuff. And uh, there was a bunch of fruit on the table. <laughs> <laughs> All the while, she's holding the knife in her hand, you know, just, mm. I don't know why, you know, she's, she's just holding the Cut knife. You. I know, and I was like, fuck. I was like, I kept telling her, I was like, why don't you put the knife away? And uh, she basically starts stabbing the fruit. She was all, fuck your diet. <laughs> she's just fucking going at it, dude. And like, the, all the fruit's all shredded and shit. And I was like, god damn it, what am I going to have for the fucking week, man? <laughs> fruit salad right there. Seriously, <laughs> man. She needs a little bit of whipped cream, man. So, I was like, oh, it's good fruit. You bought it for me. If I can put some, put some, some almonds in that bitch, you'll be good to go. Boom. Go get it. <laughs> But yeah, man, it was it was crazy. It was oh, the pond fruit. Yeah. It when sucks. Life, it, life it, it sucked. Fruit, yeah, it, the, fruit the, the situation <laughs> sucks. Yeah, yeah, the situation <laughs> really did suck. Uh, you know, I thought I was you know able to help my mom, but she uh, within a week she fucked up. And, um, she cut my she cut my fruit. She cut my fruit. She cut the shit All out of right. my fruit. She cut the shit out of my fruit. <laughs> <laughs> she went for the banana first. I was like, no, serious? Yeah. She really did. And God, man. I really want a banana. <laughs> Don't fucking touch the apples. <laughs> that's when she touched the apples. That's when you went for the tackle. Kiwis, kiwis. The kiwis. My bad. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Sometimes you just got to uppercut somebody. And, so um, your mom pawned stuff to buy you fruit? Well, she wanted to buy groceries, but she bought fruit because just she knew it was on a diet. It's already better than my mom did. My mom hasn't bought me shit in 15 years. She didn't just buy it for me. She bought it for all of us. This Which is me. <laughs> this but is the mine, but the fact that she it. stabbed the fruit, though. <laughs> like, what, did, what did the fucking fruit do to you? Come on. Hey, the, man. You cut, she cuts your boy. banana, you pour a bowl of cereal. Sasha's party. All right. And uh, can I trust you with that? <laughs> you forgot to put that in the beginning. Oh, well, yeah. Don't worry about it. I think, it. didn't you? So, yeah, I mean, this is, basically, this is like the end of the show yeah. where, you know, can, can we can you? we trust you with, with the shit we say, basically? Obviously, you can. Are show up tomorrow. <laughs> so again, there if, if you All want right. to share anything, again, you can always listen to the podcast. Again, it balls. is a Grimworks Productions. Just search Grimworks. That's G R I M M space W O R K S. Yes. 
And you can just search it on YouTube. Our This episode should be posted on Monday. And uh, again, you can always comment if you really don't care about anything. If, if you want to, uh, you know, if you don't care about what you're going to say, what you want to share, go ahead and post it on the YouTube, you know, comments. That's always, you know, something that we look forward to. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the videos just so we know we're doing good or what we're doing bad. Comment on that as well. Well, we're going to come up with an email. By the time you do listen to this on Monday, we will uh, post it in the description of this uh, video. As well as when we post this on Facebook, kind of stuff like that. We'll, we'll add that in there. The, the, the email, we're going to add that all in there. So, again, thank you for listening. My name is Roman. A giggling Mark. Mikey Mike. It's Eric. I'm John. Tony. All right, and as we always say at the end of the podcast, bye. bye. bye.